Hello everyone. Hope you all are fine. Today on a behalf of CCTV desk, we come up with new video. This video is all about a very important software. Today we are talking about a very important one by TVT. This app, this software name is Super Life Plus for PC. So basically in this video, we are going to discuss with you that what is Super Life Plus for PC, what are its features and function. Then after it will tell you that how you download on your system and after that will tell you that how you configure the software to make the camera live and able to access all its feature. So keep watching, please like, share our video and subscribe to our channel if you are a new one. So basically it is a CMS or it and it is a which is used to connect as well as control the CCTV camera on PC. This software program is for monitoring the CCTV camera on the computer screen. It is also used to monitor the cameras on remote locations over the internet. If we are talking about feature and functions, then by using this camera, you are able to access live view of the camera. You can see the multiple channel at a time. You watch the recording of the cameras. You take a snapshot of the video. You control the PTZ camera. You save the live view of the camera. You can adjust the image parameter like color, brightness, etc. Even you can take a backup the recorded videos. You can adjust the video streaming according to the network bandwidth and control the quality of the recording also. Now, to install this app, open your Chrome browser or any browser and search for Super Life Plus for PC. And here is the top of the list. You can find software here. Just click on this. And by using this website, even you can not only download, but you all are also able to see that how you configure the software. Okay. Everything is mentioned on this. So just click on that. And here you see that if it, you have to wait for a 10 seconds and after that it will redirect to your file downloaded file. Just click on that. Here you see that it starts installing. Just wait around the installation to be finished. Now it is downloaded. Now what you, sh you should do, just click on this folder option. It will redirect to you a downloaded page. And now after that, right click on the downloaded file and click to extract to this NVMS Lite 64. When you do this, you find the same folder name, same as the file name. Just open the folder and just right click on the application file or the exe file and click as run as administrator and now click yes now click ok Now click I accept and click next. Again click next and it is it installed the all the prerequisite software like VCR Redis and many more.
now you see that the software is installed just click on the launch software and click finish when you do this software is automatically open now it asks for the username and the password so you should enter the username and the password by default username and password here you should click on the remember password so that you don't click again and again just click again tick on the auto login so you don't you don't want to put password again and again it will automatically login and just click on the private i have read the agreement and click login it asks for a questions you should select the question and answer uh, like whatever you want but in my case i just make video for education and training purpose i just don't bother for that just click okay even you can skip this okay now this is the remaining this is now here you should give access to the particular drive because when you record the camera when you take a screenshot of the camera it record on the on this locations okay just click okay and here you find a lot of option like in, intelligent dashboard video preview stored this is the interface of the software you can it, it cover all the things like like intelligent dashboard where you are able to access the anpr camera face recognition camera but the main thing is where you should to go first you should go first on the resource management or from here either from here just click on the resource management this is the first thing you should do and after that you should click on the add okay when you click on the add keep in mind the few things that if you are if your device and your pc both are connected on the same network then it will automatically fetch that device and it should represent here okay and if you want to connect any remote locations device then you should click it manually so in my case i should click on the manually add okay so don't be confused here you should you should find on the quickly add and manually so don't be confused here just click on the manually add here you should find the more option like ip address serial number okay so when you click on the ip address or a serial number when you click on the serial number then you should enter that serial number here and the port number here and the username and password of the device here so don't be confused that what you should enter okay so here you should enter the username and password of the device and if you have a connect with the local ip address or a static ip address then you should click on the ip address and where you find the serial number the question arises so just you should log in your device and go to the network option you should log in your device and go to the setting and go to the network option then you should try to find the option net when you find out the net over there you find a serial number so in my case i want to connect by using a static ip address just click ip address and here i should enter my ip address okay and here you should find that is a device and here you should find the port number here you find the username and please note don't be confused you should enter the username of the device and here it asks for the password so i should enter my password and click test now you find out in test succeeded just click okay you should that this device is little blurred when it comes online you should find that its device is bold like this okay and channel is automatically fetch okay all the things is automatically fetched model number everything is automatically fetched now go to the home and go to the live view and here just click on that just click anything and your camera comes live like that okay so in this way you can 
see the device and after that you find a lot of options for example if you want to close the camera you should click like this okay and if you want to record the live video you should click on this if you want to close the camera just click on audio on if you if your camera is audio enabled and you want to hear the voice just click on this okay and if you by this you are able to hear the voice of the camera and if you want to zoom in just click on this in this way you can zoom in you can zoom out okay like this and here you if your camera is to be audio supported you can talk with your device with, with this option and here you find the setting option so if you change the camera image setting here you can rename the camera and you want to change the image setting from here you want to change image setting like brightness saturation all the things and in this way you can see the all the setting you can change all the setting again comes up home again go to the live video preview so this is all for this camera and this video so hope you like our video so thanks for watching and in next part we will see you will see that definitely explain the video of this version of this software thanks for watching thank you have a nice day